like to thank for this opportunity to give orientation to all our church officers, especially to the church treasurer. Thank you for the life. Thank you for the blessings that we receive from thee. Lord, bless each one of us. In the loving of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Ginatamyaw ko dira ang aton nga mga officers sa mga sari-sari nga mga simbahan diri sa sakop sa West Visayan Conference lalo na gid sa aton nga mga church treasurer. Kay subong pasalamat ko sa gigayuhan nga maghatag sa informasyon parte sa mga responsibilidad sa aton nga mga treasurer sa lain nga mga simbahan na sakop sa West Visayan Conference. And I would like to thank also to all the media team, Isa Sining uh, Hope Channel, Panay, and Gemaras, under the leadership of Pastor Swallow. Ano ang treasurer? What is the meaning of treasurer? According to Kai Webster, an officer entrusted to receipt, to care, and also to disburse of funds. Gani ining a treasurer sa simbahan, he is one of what? The officers of the church. Amen. Kung sa aton nga mga simbahan, kung sobra kita kadako, kung sobra kita kadamo nga membro, so gina encourage to elect or may elect assistance treasurer as needed. Kag ini nga buluhaton ay isa ka sa grado. It is the sacred task. Ang buluhaton sing treasurer. Kaya nga man, ginahalungan naton ang mga funds na ginhatag si mga kotoran agod sa paglapnag sa maayong balita. That's why, as a treasurer, your work is what? Sacred. According to Church Manual, page 28 na gasiling, the treasurer is called to an important task. Like other officers of the local church, the treasurer can greatly encourage faithfulness in the thorning of tight and deepen the spirit of liberality on the part of the church members. So, obrahonya is to encourage or to promote some tithes and offerings nga sa din sa mga membro sa simbahan. Ang mga obra sa isa ka treasurer. And the other one is custodian of all church funds. What is custodian? That is the one that guards and protects the funds of the church. So, ano ining mga funds nga ilang nga ginabantayan? Nga ginaprotektahan sa atong mga treasurer. The first one is the conference funds. The conference funds are composed of tithes and offerings. We need to say that is a 50% sa combined offering natin nga nga ipadaloon dito sa konferensya. And other specific offerings like Hope Channel offerings. Amo ina nga mga funds in conference. Next one, local church funds. Ang local church funds that is are the offerings nga 50% nga mabiling dira sa simbahan kag other specific offerings for the local church. Ano mga other specific offerings like gin specified sing isa ka manughatag nga ang iya nga ginhatag para lang gid nada sa simbahan includes mga church expense, buildings, and repair funds, and the funds para sa mga pobre. Kag inisya, this will be disbursed only by authorization of the board kag sa business meetings. Next is the funds belonging to auxiliary organizations of the local church. Anong mga auxiliary organizations? Just like Adventist men, mga outreach programs, welfare, family, AY, Dorcas, Sabbath school expense, Adventist community services, health, and others ng ministry sa sulod sa simbahan. Kag-initia, they will be 
It may be disbursed only by order of the auxiliary organization to which they belong. So, ano ang mga responsibilidad? Ang responsibilidad sa isang church treasurer is to issue sang receipt to all tithes and offerings received every Sabbath. It is encouraged that counting and receiving of these funds be done in the presence of the associate treasurer or any officer of the church present. So, kinahanglan gin nga may ano, may witness. Just like for example, pag open mo sing sibre, nga ginsulat sing membro is 1,000 pesos. Pag tanaw sa sobre is only 500 pesos. Kung wala ikaw witness, kabudlay mga kabiyanan. Mas maayo may may witness, may presence sang associate treasurer or sang isa kang mga officer sa simbahan like or jaconisa or mga jacono. Agod, hindi kita maisuhan nga naging kawat na to ng kwarta. Mas maayo gigin may witness. Next, according to church manual, the treasurer must give the steps for all funds na iya nga na receive. Next responsibility is total all the conference and local church funds every month to determine the actual monthly remittance to the conference and monthly income of the church. So every month you have to total tanan para mabalansing natun kung ano ang mga funds ng inuhatag dito sa conference kag pilaman nga funds nga mabilin diri sa aton nga simbahan kag makita natun kung pila ang aton nga na receive next one is provide a treasurer's report to the church board every month or quarter stating the conference fund remitted the income on expenses of the church and how much money the church has du during the business meeting. Kinahanglan gin sa treasurer, they have to report every church board para mabalan man nila sa mga church board members na kung pila man ang kwarta na nagsulod, kung pila man ang napagwa, kung mabalan kung pila nga nabilin nga kwarta. So kinahanglan ini para Kung may mga agenda ka mo nga involve money, at least may basihan ka mo diin ka mo makuha sa inkwarta. So that's why the treasurer needs to report every month sa church board. Next, prepare the monthly church remittance voucher and remit to the conference funds and belong to the conference every month through the bank, mail, through money order or your district. Pastor, Kag, meaning to say remittance voucher is what? Comprobante. Isulap nyo da kung pila ang tithes, pila ang offerings. Kag, pwede nyo man ihulog sa banko. Pwede nyo kapangayo diri sa conference ng bank account. Kag, ipasa ining comprobante para mabalaan naton sa conference kung pila ang ipadala mo. Kag, pila ang sa tithes, kag, pila man sa offering. Kung hindi man sa banko, ipadala sa aton mga district. Pastors. It's not a responsibility amo ang to keep all the official receipts from the conference intact and attach to the church remittance voucher stamp. Kung na receive nyo na ang resibo, e attach nyo gidira sa den sa komprobante para ang amount ina nga ginhatag ninyo magpareho sa komprobante kay atas sa likod sa ano sa resibo. Next responsibility is the treasurers are encouraged to verify inquire from the conference office is if official receipts are not what received or any matter related thereon. This will help each one of us in our respective responsibilities. So mga treasurers kinahanglan gin kung wala ninyo na receive ang resibo, i verify nyo dili sa conference or pamangkuto nyo liwat ang inyo pastors. No? Nga gitagaan nyo sang resibo. Tagaan nyo sang kwarta. Pangayuan nyo gin sang resibo after nila na hatag rin sa conference. Next one is disburse funds as approved by the church board. 
In no case shall a treasurer be disbursing funds without the approval of the board. And lending to any officer or any member of the church is to what? Discourage. Should be responsible to keep the records, vouchers, or receipt from whatever expenditures the church has. Kung mag kita sing funds halin sa simbahan, kinahang langid may approval sing church board. Hindi kita dali dali lang pagwa sing kwarta without approval sang church board. Kag kung magpagwa na kita sing kwarta, kinahang langid may attach nga resibo pabalikan gid. May balik nga resibo. Just like example, nagbakal ka mo pinta para sa simbahan, approved church board. Kinahanap pagitaan nyo gid resibo kung pilang nga amount ang ginbakal nyo sa pinta para sa simbahan. Kag, papermaho nyo gid kung sin o ang nagkuha sang kwarta. Kag, according diri sa aton nga no, hindi bawal gid nga ipahulam naton sa mga officers or members sa sa sulod sang simbahan gina discourage naton kay aman so lihi kun indi makabayad atong isa ka membro kag sugi mo panukot nga panukot dugay dugay maaway lang kamo kun wala siya inog bayad and then later on indi na lang magsimba so gina discourage sila naton ipahulam ang kwarta sang simbahan so Next is what responsibility of the treasurer should make available all the pertinent records for audit to the auditor, district pastor, leading elder, or any others authorized by the church board, but should not make it available to an authorized person. So ang imo nga mga records na kung kinahanglan hindi mo pakita kita sa iban, hindi mo pa Patanaw sa iban, unsa may mamangkot na sa imo nga pila da ang tight ni brother ano? Please. It is confidential. Ang makatanaw lang gid na ang aton nga district pastor, ang aton nga mga auditors, ang aton nga mga elders or any others nga gin authorize sing church board. Hindi lang biskan sin o kita mo ang records. Next We should always remember that relations with individual members are strictly confidential. The treasurer should be careful never to comment on the tithe returned by any member or the income or anything concerning it, except to those who share the responsibility of the work. Great harm may be caused by failure to observe this rule. So, kita nga mga treasurer, hindi kita dapat magsugid concerning sa isa ka tao sa iya nga mga tight sa iban nga tao. Is a manugid ka to sa iban. Uy, amo lang gani iya nga tight to. So, kabudlay, please be careful. Hindi git kita mag humbal sa yung ano ang nakita nato sa record sa iban nga tao. It is what? Confidential. Next one is responsibility is the treasurers must know the ins and outs of the church fund and must be the first one to know of the expenses sang simbahan. So, mga treasurer, you are very, very important sa sulod simbahan. Kamu ang makabalo sing pagkatutom sang isa ka membro. Kag before I close this, I want to read to give you a text from the Bible in the book of Matthew twenty four thirteen. Nagasiling, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So, mga church treasurer, we know that we have a lots of problem in the church. Unkis a hindi natin kaya sa sobra kadamo ng trabaho natin sa atong balay sa atong opisina. If you are tasked ng naging or shall I say na elect ng bilang isaka officer, bilang isaka treasurer sa simbahan, atong padayonon kag we should be more faithful 
until the end kung mag-abot ang Ginoo. So thank you, thank you very much. Dear God in heaven, the creator of this whole universe, you are too big to rule the universe, but yet you are still small to reside in our hearts. We thank you, O Lord, for all the information that we just heard this moment. And we are praying, O God, to all the church treasurer. Be with them, O Lord. We know this task is not easy for them, but you know you are there for them. Protect them. Bless them, O God. Not only to all the church treasurer, but also to all the officers who were elected for this 2021. Lord, I pray for them. Bless also their families. Dear God, bless also our leaders from general conference down to the local churches. Thank you, their Heavenly Father, for the blessings. And thank you. We claim that your promise in the Bible that you will hear our prayers and we, you will answer to all our prayers and you will meet to all our needs. But Heavenly Father, thank you, God, for hearing and granting our requests. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.